What's up video creator, it's videomark.net. So you want to create this very popular RGB split effect. I know I'm late to this party, but you probably know me. If you've been following this channel, I'm trying to add some, I always try to add some value to it. So with this thing, I'm gonna show you an updated workflow with the latest version of Premiere Pro because most tutorials out there I was able to find will show you a technique with, an, with, an, with a deprecated effect, with an obsolete effect. And that might be ditched in future versions of Premiere Pro, and it might not be GPU acceler accelerated because it's um, using old code, etc., etc. So I'm showing you an updated version with the Lumetri effect. All right, so we're here um, on a, in our timeline with with this clip, and let me first show you what I mean with obsolete effects. So most tutorials, when you Google or search on YouTube for um, glitch effect or RGB, RGB split effect in Premiere Pro will tell you that you should use um, the color balance RGB. Problem with that, as you can see, it's indicated by this folder here. It says obsolete, which means this effect might be deprecated in a future version and not be available anymore. Just to have a future proof workflow, I'm gonna show you a, a new technique, which essentially does the same, it looks the same, but it's not an obsolete effect, okay? The other problem with, with uh, those tu most tutorials, um, they use the position of this clip to offset the channel. Uh, the problem with that, I'll show you what I mean. Let, let me apply this um, real quick, just as it's being shown in other tutorials. Boom, and That's basically what you get to see in, uh, in those other tutorials. Basically, really does, I, was, I found dozens of tutorials. Now, here's the thing. The very last step to create this would be to actually, actually um, reposition this layer here. And now what you, what you see here on the, left, on the left hand side of the canvas, there is this nasty strip um, because there's no pixel information anymore, right? And we don't want that. We want to have. We want it to look a little, a little cleaner. What we're going to do is actually offset this layer with the offset effect. And what that will do, it will actually fill up when you offset it. Fill up this gap with a a mirrored version of the clip. Okay. So when I shift this, now as you can see, you don't have this nasty yellow strip anymore. And when I set this to, um, set this to, let me hang on, hang on, let me set this to normal. And now what you, what, we, what you can see is it's filling up this, this empty space with a mirrored version, okay? So what we actually wanna do is uh, step one, use the Lumetri panel to the Lumetri effect to actually split the channels. So click on your uh, video clip. And if you don't see the Lumetri color, pa color panel, head over to the Windows menu, Window menu, <laughs> and activate Lumetri color. Okay, then you're gonna, you should be able to see these, this panel here. Head over to the Curves tab, and right here you will see the RGB curves. And these little dots here actually indicate the color channels. Okay, so we're gonna click on the red channel and drag it all the way down. And the green, drag it all the way down, and now you're left with the blue channel. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, duplicate this clip. So um, hold down the Alt or Option key and drag that clip to the to the upper track. And here we want to have wh what do we have? Hang on a second. We have the blue one. Now we want to have the green one. So drag it all the way up. Um, click on the blue channel. Drag drag it all the way down. Now we're left with the green channel. And do it one more time. Alt or Option. Drag up. And now we want to drag down the green channel and click on the red channel and drag it up. Now we have the red channel. So now we're left with the green. Let me toggle that uh, the visibility off. Green, red, green, and blue. Now we split the channels with the Lumetri panel. That's that's step one, okay? The next thing we, we have to do, we have to uh, adjust the, the blend mode. So with the topmost clip, go to the effect, effect controls, opacity, and in the blend mode, set it to screen. Do the same thing with the next one. 
set it to screen. You don't, as you can see, it looks uh, it looks normal now. So you don't have to do it with the lowest uh, clip. And that's basically the preparation for that effect. And the very next thing we want to do, as I as I had um, outlined uh, in the introduction, we want we want to offset this, but not with the position, but with the offset effect. So head over to the effects, search for offset. I did that already, and apply it to this uh, clip. Do the same thing with your other clips because we're going to need them need this effect over there as well. Let's say we want to do that glitch right when this uh, kid is jumping right here. We're on the topmost uh, track. Set a keyframe uh, uh, on shift center two because that's our uh, base position. And then with the arrow key, just nudge it over one frame and then offset it a little bit. And you can already see this glitch effect happening and then do that for a couple of, a couple of frames. And then one more and then go back but not too much because we want to, we want it to be kind of subtle. I mean, it doesn't look subtle, but you don't want to move it too far away because then you're not going to be able to sell that effect. Okay. So a few more times, another one, and then we're back to the base position because it's, it's supposed to look normal just after a split second. Okay. Do the same thing with the next one. And now we're at this position, and this is actually supposed to be our end position. And if you want to actually find the position where um, this is uh, happening at the, at the other channel, because we want it to line up, um, hold down the shift key. So the playhead snaps into place, go to that other clip and set a keyframe there. And that's our range. Okay. That's the range that we want to want this effect to take place. Okay. Nudge it over again. And here we're going to start by dragging to the left side. And as you can see, it's starting to come together. And maybe this time you want to actually move, uh, move it uh, vertically too. And then boom, boom. And one more time. And that's about it. Okay. And now when we play this, hang on a second, let me select that range. I have loop playback turned on. Now when we play it, we got our RGB split effect. Okay. And again, we used um, the Lumetri panel, uh, the Lumetri effect in the Lumetri panel. And we didn't move, actually move the channels with the position, but with the offset effect, so we don't get these. Here you can see that it's actually repeating, it's tiling, okay? It's not really mirrored. I, I think I said mirrored, but it's actually tiling those clips. And then you could, you end up with a very clean RGB split effect. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like button, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.